you will find openings at Amazon throughout the year. You will find people Amazon hiring for SD1, SD2, SD3. They are hiring for software engineering intern. They are hiring for program analyst intern. So different type of openings are available throughout the year, and it is just you who have to apply. Wow program. Apart from that, there are there are certain uh, other hackathons that Amazon conducted. It's recently conducting a machine learning hackathon. I'll give the link. Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. So today we are going to talk about Amazon. We will discuss about everything that you need to know about Amazon, starting from its CTC, its breakup, its salary, on-campus hiring process, off-campus opportunities at Amazon, how you should prepare for Amazon, what are some of the important questions that Amazon asks. Also, I'll give a sheet in the description below from where you can check out some of the previous year questions that Amazon has asked. And it is peculiar that Amazon ha has the habit of asking questions in a repeated manner, so you can find these questions in your actual interview as well. So talking about Amazon's, like everybody is familiar of Amazon. It's one of the Fang company, right? The acronym Fang, the A in acronym Fang stands for Amazon. So you all might be aware of Amazon, and how you will be preparing for Amazon, we'll be discussing in this entire video. Don't forget to watch this video till the end, and yeah, subscribe कर देना if you are new to this channel. बहुत सारा अच्छा कंटेंट अवेलेबल है और भी काफी सारी कंपनीज की ऐसी गाइड वीडियोस बन चुकी हैं जैसे वॉलमार्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऊबर एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अदर कंपनीज बहुत हेल्प हो जाएगी प्लेसमेंट सीजन इज कमिंग गो हेड एंड चेक आउट अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू विल फाइंड अमेजिंग प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो डोंट फॉर टू चेक आउट दैट इज वेल सो स्टार्टिंग विथ टूडेज वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट एमेजोन सो एमेजोन इज एज एवरीबडी नोज इट्स वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट मल्टी नेशनल ई कॉमर्स कंपनी With its share price ranging to four thousand dollars, close to four thousand dollars, उसका एक शेयर फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर के बराबर है. So you can see how big this company is and uh, the marketplace. It like it is hiring every time. It is expanding in such a way that it like you will find openings for Amazon throughout the year. Maybe it's for internships, maybe it's for full time roles, experienced hiring two years, three years. So every time you will see openings on the site of Amazon. It is just you who have to go and apply. and get a job at a dream company that is amazon offering a package of 31.25 lakhs per annum two freshers right so this is something that we are going to discuss in the next part of the video let's come on to the ctc breakup that i have already mentioned so the ctc for amazon is 31.25 lakhs per annum when i talk about 31.25 lakhs per annum out of this 31.25 lakhs 14.5 is the base that amazon gives then it's 3.5 lakhs joining bonus that it gives in the first year and 2.5 lakhs joining bonus that it gives in the second year after that you have some rsus that is stocks of amazon worth rupees 11 lakhs so this is basically the structure of amazon salary breakup apart from that if we talk about the stipend of internship so during internship you will be getting a stipend of 45000 per month recently what uh, we have heard that they have increased the stipend to 60000 per month like you will be getting close to 60000 per month because the things have moved to a virtual format so there will be no costs or charges of being in the office and working so they have moved it to 60000 per month so this is something that is really amazing if you are doing a 6 months internship at amazon to Six months, six into sixty, it goes close to three lakh sixty thousand, right? So you can earn this much in uh, while working at Amazon, also getting a chance to grab a PPO and an offer from Amazon. Now, if I talk about the on-campus hiring process for Amazon, so you will witness there are around three to four rounds in hiring process of Amazon. Firstly, we'll talk about the internship hiring process. So there is an online coding test, which internally online coding test has four different sections. The first is aptitude section. The second is basically a uh, behavioral question section. The third is debugging section, and the final you will be getting a programming section. So first section is aptitude in which you will be getting twenty to twenty four questions, and they will be of easy to medium level. You will be able to solve almost all the questions if you are well versed with aptitude. Next, uh, there is a behavioral round there in which you will be asked certain questions to gen generally check your personality, like how you actually are. Maybe uh, do you like to wear? Like the questions would be like, do you like to wear a watch? Uh, and you will be having some criterias from one to five. You need to mark key if you. So if you're watching this video till now, don't forget to press the like button and share it with your friends. Also, do subscribe this channel. Mark it as five, so you are more likely to wear a watch on so and so day. And one, you are less likely to wear a watch on so and so day. So there are similar kind of questions, and these these are generally easy. But the number of questions are a lot. You will find around forty to fifty questions in this particular section. Next, there is a debugging section in which you will be given seven to eight questions, in which you will be. Like there be some code line of code missing or something like some in some question C out is not done or something like very 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 common mistake is being done and you have to correct that and you have to submit the. 
correct code so that is the debugging section and at the last there will be programming section generally the questions in amazon programming test are repeated so i advise if you are setting for amazon go ahead and check out all the archives and the previous questions that i have given in this description box do check out for uh, like having an experience of what type of questions amazon ask and you might be lucky and you might be getting a similar set of questions that amazon ask in its online test talking about the full time role so full time also the test is almost similar you might get a section where you will be asked some mcqs of computer science fundamentals but that is not in all cases next after you, you clear this particular test you have certain interview rounds like for internships particularly they conduct two rounds and for full times they conduct three to four rounds for hiring talking about internship round so you will be asked exactly two to three data structure algorithm question nothing else in your interview entire interview is based upon purely data structure algorithm and the questions would be standard questions you will not be finding very high level questions maybe uh, something related to segmentaries or no so these type of questions they generally don't prefer they prefer questions asking from like graph algorithms or they ask some questions from trees and the questions are one of like the famous question types right so this is something that amazon generally ask in internship interview rounds and uh, like the second internship interview round is like you might be asked something about os gbms and computer fundamentals and also some principles and values of amazon now talking about the full time interview processes so they range from 3 to 4 rounds in the first three rounds they majorly focus upon data structures algorithms skills you would be asked two to three questions and you need to solve it in 45 minutes to 1 hour so this is the general duration of amazon's interview if you solve those questions very early so you might be asked some other questions something related to your projects or so and the final round in amazon is known as bar raiser round that is you have to raise the bar that means in this round you can be asked anything related to your projects which all skills you have uh, which all computer science fundamentals you have learned so you might be asked questions related to that as well and this is the final round after which you will be getting a notice that whether you are selected or not for amazon so this was the entire hiring process for amazon i talk, not talking about some of the important preparation resources so what uh, is suggested for amazon is go ahead and like if you have an interview coming for amazon or if you have a test coming for amazon don't forget to practice the previous questions that has been asked in amazon check out geeks for geeks check out lead code and do all the questions with amazon's tag so that is going to give you an edge over others with respect to interviews as well as the online coding test so generally this has been seen in interviews also the questions are repeated and online test also the questions are repeated right now talking about some of the other things that that is off campus opportunities which all off campus opportunities are available at amazon you will find openings at amazon throughout the year you will find people amazon hiring for sd1 sg2 sg3 they are hiring for software engineering intern they are hiring for program analyst intern so different type of openings are available throughout the year and it is just you who have to apply try getting referrals from people and apply through referrals you will be getting uh, interview calls you will be getting test link through that as well also they have a peculiar program for women hiring that is known as amazon wow so that is currently running and different sessions have been uh, uh, going on for that i have made a complete video on amazon wow also if you are a female candidate studying in your second year or third year so you can go ahead and check out that as well for internship and full time opportunities that is particularly a female oriented opportunity at amazon to get into amazon that is known as amazon wow program apart from that there are there are certain uh, other hackathons that amazon conducted recently conducting a machine learning hackathon i'll give the link to that also in the description below you need to participate in that and you might be in uh, get a chance to interview at the data scientist team at amazon so these are certain off campus opportunities that you might see at amazon so this was in general review of amazon but talking about uh, the work life work culture at amazon what have been heard from people is there are certain teams in which the work life work culture is not very good but there are certain teams in which the work life work balance is good so we can't generalize it that it is bad or it is uh, not good so it depends upon from team to team and what type of personality you have which all uh, teams you are assigned to so that depends upon from person to person but overall the review of amazon is good composition it is offering is perfect and the interview processes are not very tough being it a fan company so this was all about amazon's interview process if you have any more doubts do let me know and do don't forget to check out other playlists and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more and more such amazing content coming ahead